guys, what's going on? Happy Friday. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, let me close. No, let me close that. And why is it running an ad already? I just started. Wow. All right, so the website is about 30 seconds behind, which is weird. All right, there we go. Patchy light rain with thunder. That's about right. It was, it was raining this afternoon. Pretty bad thunder, maybe half an hour ago. Hey, Zarbag says, what's up? Happy Friday. Survived another week. <laughs> Never a sure thing, especially these days. Especially these days. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. Yes, I was able to fix the slots. <laughs> so that's fixed. Um, the Jenga tower, Jenga, the Jenga tower is at three right now. I checked that already. Well, when we get ready to start the game here, we, we have to repeat one little section right there at the end of uh, the chapter where Eliana was looking for Jack. When we go back to the dock to get on the ship to come back to England, we had to do the whole um, the thing with the, the statue and all that. So I paused it right there. After we'd finished that on the stream on Saturday last week, and you know, I figured I would just quit out once it started up. That because because what happens is it has an intro for each chapter, and oh my god, the intro to this next chapter is like long. So I said, "Well, crap. Let me let me quit out, and maybe it'll uh, give me a, a, a favorable checkpoint." And it did not. So we have to repeat that little section there. Like I said, so, but it's, it's not that long. So book three, eye of the storm. Yeah, this part right here in the Harbor. All right, let's see. Where? I think he's got to get the thing out of the chest there. I think that's what he got. Yeah. The insides of the box kept her warm and the wood is slightly damp. All right. Don't listen to a word he says. Do you know what's going on? Oh, chaos. I can't get these people to calm down. God knows I tried. What happened? The jongleur told the crowd a few stories. Then he sold people some miracle charms, but it was just fairy tales and painted stones. Well, it always is. I know, but I'd need a real miracle to calm them down now. Otherwise, they'll rip him apart. Oh, is this the part that had like 47 little cutscenes in about five seconds? He said, Dave. <clears throat> Do you see? It's working. Your friend, Rashid, must be quite the miracle worker. Mustn't fool around now. The tears will dry quickly. <laughs> Look! It's like Lion oh, what's King. What's going on? <laughs> the holy mother! Hey, uh... She's crying. <clears throat> Revere the holy mother, for she has blessed us with a sign from the heavens. Cease your doings right now and witness the miracle. It's true. Lord in heaven. Why is she crying? Because we need to take the ship. 
She weeps for your sins. What has this man done to you that you would treat him like a wild animal? He tricked us and took our coin. And you would kill him for your own foolishness. The Holy Virgin weeps, for you are not living by the word of God. It is the mother of God. F -f Forgive us, Holy Mother. Where did she come from? <laughs> come up with a story. For hundreds of years, she I think that's languished the same one that in the land of the Saracens. The other day. Dormant, she has been waiting for the one to bring her home. Listen to what <laughs> he has to say. The Holy Virgin has chosen this young family to protect her. Tell us all where you are headed. England, kind sir. Her destination is beyond these waters. In the small town of Kingsbridge, in the earldom of Shiring. There she wants to rest. Kingsbridge? Where's that? Hail Mary! Make way for the Holy Virgin! Hallelujah! Make Robert well! Huh? Blessed Mary, let my daughter conceive. Give us a good harvest! They're donating to ask for her blessing. Uh, oh. The weeping Madonna shall hear your prayer. And with your donations, I... I shall build her a new shrine at Kingsbridge, a cathedral. <gasps> it's... Jack's grandmother. It's you! <clears throat> uh, who do you mean? You, the red-haired ghost. Me, a ghost? Uh, my husband is very much alive. I've known him since he was 12 years old. But he drowned. By God, you drowned. 24 years ago. On the white ship. <gasps> my poor, poor son. My shark. His name was... Jacques. Jacques Cherbourg. Jack Cherbourg. Dun dun dun. And this is where this is where we left off on Saturday. You felt excited on the ship from England to Normandy. You listened to the young Mason's advice and headed to Lassay first. You and your baby fell seriously ill, but you both managed to survive. You helped another pilgrim on the way, <clears throat> along the way of St. James. You snuck into Rashid's sacred archive, but we got his slingshot back when we did. You found Jack in Paris. You decided to go back to Kingsbridge. You saved a jongleur from a lynch mob. You met Jack's grandmother and finally learned about the fate of his father. Say orange. Thank you, Zarbaxis, for your spending your points. I appreciate it. I need to work on my leaderboards. I did start on another, working on another game, so we'll have something else to do together. In chat, anyway. Not too long, hopefully. So much has grown, but there are no roots, no herbs. What are you looking at, Jonathan? The garden is in disorder. I want it to be right again, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Before I became prior, I thought the same about Kingsbridge. <clears throat> well, what did you do? I cleaned up. Where do we start? Hmm. 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 Yeah, see, this is the part that I was doing after the stream was over, trying to get to the point where I could quit. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, let's see. Pluck the weeds first. <laughs> Then there's even more after this. 
Some plants are weeds and must go before we can plant new seeds. What are weeds? They take away what the other plants need to grow. Some of them make you feel really good, too. <laughs> Light, water, room. What do we do? Pluck them. They look a lot like every other plant, so you need to learn how to tell them apart. Here, you see those? They're called wood sorrel. Let's pluck only those for now. For now. I'll do it. If you insist. Make Go sure to pull out all of the thin roots. Jonathan's already got the haircut. And now what do I do? For plants to take root, the soil must be loose and fertile. So, may I dig now? Done. What's next? Yeah, let's water the seed Stay first here. and I'll then right plant back. it. It's opposite day today. You remember that seed we put in here way, way, way at the beginning of the game? <laughs> now we finally get to use it. It's like a chestnut or something, wasn't it? Beech nut. Maybe a yeah, beech nut, I think it was. Now, where did you put them? Ah, here they are. Yep. Beach nuts I gave to Milius a long time ago. I found these nuts for you. Remember, Milius? You always said that one day there will be a beech tree growing here. I think it's about time. Wait a minute, you can grow peaches? Damn, I need to get one of those. What did you bring? Do you remember Milius? A kind man with a warm smile. Oh crap, I forgot to turn on the lights behind well, me. Well, he told me to give you this. Whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> now we just have to wait. All right. What about watering it? Is that no longer an option? Um, how long? Too long for us to keep sitting here. Decades. Uh, <laughs> that long. Some things take time. And only with patience will you receive your reward. Why do we have to do all these things if all we had to do is wait? Simply waiting would not have been enough, Jonathan. You just paved the way for things to take their course. They are happening right now. And in a few days' time, we will return wow. and see the first green leaf of something new. Oh. Uh, That's pretty um, quick if we're going to be seeing leaves. For what? Maybe. <clears throat> Does he make things grow? You made it. No, I just planted the seed. Hmm. Yeah, 
There we go. Now you can fetch some water from the rain barrel. But that water's smelly. It's been there forever. There are many trees by the river. I bet that water's better. That's a longer walk, though. I don't mind. The distance is worth it. I'm Maybe sure the, you're right. I'm sure the seed will thank you, too. It is worth it. Let's walk together, then. <clears throat> but I'll carry the bucket. Why isn't Remedius holding the sermon? What's gotten into Philip? Our church lies in ruins. But all of this, these dire times, have revealed something important to us. Something that until, <coughs> maybe until today, I wasn't aware of. What do you mean? You've been praying in these ruins. But you've been praying like you always did, in humbleness. We don't need a church for prayer. Where else are we going to pray? The chapter house? The church is where God resides. God doesn't work in the ways we might assume. Today, Jonathan tended to our garden to make it beautiful again. And he told me of things I almost had forgotten. Good and evil are not in here or out there. They are within each of us. <clears throat> God made us in his image. Thus, we carry the godly spark within us. But we have witnessed that man can have the devil in his heart as well. Prayer needs no special place, for we are his church. In our actions, he exists. We are God's temple. No man is closer to God than any other man. Whether you pray in church or on the streets of our towns. Whether you're a man, woman, monk or bishop. Philip, look outside. You have to see them. <clears throat> You've got to see the horses and the colors. Uh-oh. Jonathan. That can't be good. Hmm. This one isn't timed. The horses and the colors. <clears throat> now, what's going on? I'm, I heard noises and I went to look. Calm down. What happened? But the priest said they brought a miracle. Who? What? What priest? Step right up, brothers and sisters. For you are about to see something that will change your life. Who is that? They brought us a miracle. A miracle? Don't be shy. Okay. There is no danger. Just awe that awaits you here. Ah, you must be Prior Philip. I am Brother Reynold. I have been sent by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Here Whoa. is his letter, in case you have reasonable doubts. Letter from the Archbishop of Canterbury. Okay. Letter dated January 20th, 1141. 
Philip of Kingsbridge, I hereby implore you to accept the grace of the weeping Madonna, for she has chosen Kingsbridge as her shrine. After the rumors of a miracle had come to my ears, I had called for the procession to see me. When I called, when I saw it with my own eyes, she is real. I have claimed the miracle for England and had intended to retain her in Winchester. The guardians of the Madonna have convinced me otherwise. <laughs> Wonder who that is. They have come to England only to support the rebuilding of Kingsbridge. <clears throat> You have my blessings, Philip of Kingsbridge. I expect you to restore our your priory to be worthy of the Holy Madonna. Oh, do you bring money? A chest full of gold? Theobald, Archbishop of Canterbury. We've been charged to accompany the weeping Madonna. She is to replace oh, the loss them. of your relic, <laughs> in those outfits. Saint Adolphus the Martyr, who was taken from you, I hear, with brute force. Yes. What? On her travel from far away Africa, she has collected donations to reward Kingsbridge for your faith in her and in the Lord. I can't believe this. What is all this? You do believe. That is why she came. And that is why you shall witness <clears throat> her miracle for yourself today. <gasps> oh. The weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized Saracen was her former guardian. And I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? I'll be back. I knew not her powers or Have destination. Nevertheless, I carried her for many miles. Many bore witness to her miracle before it dawned upon me. She wanted to go home. But where? But where? It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. But I wondered, what shrine should be her shelter? This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. She said, You shall build me a new church in Kingsbridge. Now who's going to build it? So we set off with the blessing of Archbishop Theobald of Canterbury. And along the road... We need a master from builder. ...from Paris, across Normandy, over the sea, and all the way to Kingsbridge. Devout Christians have given money for the building <clears throat> of the Church of the Weeping Madonna. This church of Kingsbridge. The Weeping Madonna has chosen you, all of you. I will tell you again, dear brothers and is, sisters. Is he just going to sit there and repeat the whole thing? The Weeping Madonna has chosen you. Please tell us more. Of course. My words shall prepare you for the sight of the Holy Madonna. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. The Weeping Madonna is in has book chosen you, you the answers all I can find of you. In my own heart. Now, brothers and sisters, <laughs> I can talk a little too well. I have heard that life has not been kind to Kingsbridge, but it is in places like these, and in dark times like these, that God's light shines brightest. Is that a jester and right there in the along back? the road, from Paris, across Normandy, over the sea, <clears throat> and all the way to Kingsbridge. What country did you say you came from? We have traveled all the way from a place of wonders too marvelous to behold. 
the faraway land of Africa. Africa has many countries, I've heard. Yes, it does. You heard me correctly. It was a long journey. The Weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. What's it like in Africa? The sun is always shining, and miracles happen every day. It's a land of great deserts, fig trees, and creatures that an Englishman can't even dream up. Like these horses. Are they horses? They are not. <laughs> to you, they might resemble horses, but the name the Africans have for these creatures is impossible to pronounce, even for me. I will tell you again. Dear brothers and sisters. You mentioned there were fig trees in Africa. What are they? It's, uh, it's a fruit, of course. It looks like a strawberry and tastes like a pear. The scripture mentions these figs and they sound nothing like that. Why is that? No two apples look or taste alike. Uh, the same goes for figs, and doubly so. I'm getting the impression that this man has never even been to Africa. <laughs> but why would he lie? Hmm. Mm. I could have continued to carry her from town to town until my flesh succumbed. But this was not her will. But I wondered, what shrine should be her shelter? This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. You must be thinking, how can he be so sure? In the beginning, I was not. I only had my faith. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. And I will tell you again. She is a true <clears throat> miracle that will change your life as she changed mine. Many bore witness to her miracle before it dawned upon me. She wanted to go home, but where? It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. But not now. You must be thinking, how can he be so sure? Hey! Shh! You heard me correctly. Okay, okay, it I get it. It was a long <laughs> journey. The Weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptize, and I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? A Saracen? Such a trusting boy. Maybe to too much for his own good. Jonathan? They're about to show the miracle! Succumbed. Look! But this was not her will. But I wondered... What shrine should be her shelter? This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. I could have continued to carry her Old rags. town to town. Very unlike the front. Succumbed. That's not fit for but a shrine. Was and I think there's will. someone snoring in there. Strange. But I wondered, Nothing sacred about this. Mm, excuse shelter. me. This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. You must be thinking, how can he be so sure? Tapestry In hides white I cover. Very I simple cloth. My faith. I knew not her powers or destination. Nevertheless, I carried her for many miles. You must wonder, why was King's Bridge chosen to be the home of the Holy Tell me Virgin? the truth. Why are you here? We are guardians of the Holy Virgin that sheds tears. We were appointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury. But it was the Holy Virgin herself who chose us while she traveled through Europe. Oh, yes. How did that happen? 
She speaks without words. She said, You shall build me a new church in Kingsbridge. So we set off. With the My dear people. Of <gasps> of oh, I'm so excited to see a true miracle. Did you hear that? The Madonna has chosen us. She's come all the way from Africa. Uh -oh. And I will tell you again. Please, everyone. Shh, we want to listen. She is a true miracle <laughs> that will change your life. Oh, kid. As she changed mine. Oh, that's um. Many bore witness yeah. to her miracle. We don't know the kid's Before name yet. It dawned upon me. Right, we didn't. Uh... She wanted to go home. But where? I am Philip. To me in a Who dream. are you, young man? It was <gasps> Kingsbridge. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. The Weeping Why are you hiding? Has chosen <laughs> you. Hmm. All of you. Now, brothers and sisters, I have heard. But it is in places like these, and in dark times like these. Can you feel it, brothers and sisters? <clears throat> you are about to witness a miracle. The Madonna knows how you have suffered. The, the horse has two humps, had to by the way. The rise and fall of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and never stopped believing. Don't stop. Kingsbridge believing. has endured many hardships. Prior James left you before his time when you needed him the most. Your old cathedral was burned to the ground. How do you know this? And your new one collapsed even before construction was finished. You have suffered the ruthless destruction of your market, homes, and lives. Dada. Uh -oh. All of you have lost husbands, wives, and children, family, and friends. Dada. All of you <laughs> know how it is to be hungry and afraid. <coughs> Jack. Aliena. Philip. But this is a miracle, isn't it? Or something along those lines. But how? We thought it was time to give Tommy a home. The boy? Your boy? Did they give him the name the other day? Well, Philip, do you recognize him? Our little Tommy? Tommy? But... Just what are you doing here with these people? Do you think I wouldn't notice it's all artifice? Your shrine is an old cart with decorations, and Reynold is just a dubious man speaking nothing but lies. The camels were a bit much, weren't they? With the Madonna, we were able to collect donations for your priory and for Kingsbridge. Really? We can start anew. We can rebuild the cathedral. What's the catch? I'll get to be master builder. Why? I've studied the cathedrals, churches, and houses they build in France and Spain. I saw how different their constructions were, with new shapes, colors, and ideas. Oh, you should have seen it. They combined rib vaulting and pointed arches. I want to do that. That's why. Why here? Because home. this is home. Thank you. The townspeople probably think that's enough to build a whole cathedral. But to me, it looks like about a hundred pounds. You know, that won't even pay for a year's work. Like all of this, it's a symbol. Enough for a fresh start. And the Madonna will stay here. Kingsbridge will attract visitors and donations again. You mean I should be... Thankful for these lies and tricks. Jack! Martha? Aliena! You came back! We wanted to see you, little sister. 
how are you? Oh, I'm fine. But look at you. And the little one. Tommy. How are the others? Alfred left Kingsbridge. Richard shows up every now and then, and Ellen returned to the forest. We need to visit her. What's wrong, Martha? I'm glad you're back. I am too. Very glad. She looks like she's about to cry. She will weep for your suffering, Kingsbridge. She knows your pain. What now? <laughs> the miracle! Her eyes are wet! <gasps> <gasps> oh. Her eyes! Look at her! Heaven. They're shining! She cannot hold her tears any longer. She is made of wood. It's impossible. Why are you weeping? She is mute ever since her husband died. The Madonna has <gasps> suffered as I have. She understands. <laughs> it seems through her faith in all of your lies, Mary has found a miracle. We can't keep trying to repair Kingsbridge by ourselves. Things are not improving. We're struggling to keep things as they are. But we can't afford to hire help. Without farming and fairs, we're back to prior James's time. All these past years, my advice was good enough for you. But it appears you've changed your mind now, again. It is time we started doing something to wake up and make Kingsbridge what it used to be. We did before and we could do it again. I'm not willing to accept a risk like that. Don't you remember what happened last time? My, my, how easily we forget. I remember well. And still, you put your trust into a group of random strangers to make things better. Philip, why in God's name have you stood by and let this happen? They're tricking us into giving them money for false idols. They are giving us money. Mm -hmm. So that we'll place this idol in our priory? Do you approve of this? No, I don't approve of their deception. The Madonna is a trick, no miracle. But the people have already decided, and I won't take away the hope they found. Good answer. Did you not see what happened to Mary? I saw, and I see that you intentionally turn a blind eye to the lies of your friends. I'm warning mm. you. I cannot support a prior who tolerates heresy. Your threat won't sway me. No matter how unconventional, their return and their gift are a blessing. You made your decision, Philip of Gwyneth. And now, I make mine. Uh-oh. I resign. I'm leaving the priory. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out, buddy. Got so big, Tommy. <laughs> and you're just as shy as your father was. Don't let him fool you. Usually, he's always up to something. Oh my god, did we get to actually do something now? <laughs> Tom 45 would have been proud of you. minutes. Of both of you. Oh, still can't. Is she still here? Hmm? Tom's wife. Oh, no. Martha and I moved her to Kingsbridge. She's with Tom now. He always wanted that. Ellen, we found Jack's family. 
in Sherborg. The place he came from wasn't Sherborg, it was Sherborg. <laughs> really? What were they like? They were good people. His grandmother said Jack looked just like him, like his father. He does. But they never came for him or, or asked about him. They thought he was dead. His ship sunk. He'd always wanted to go to England. Have you ever heard of the White Ship? Uh, no. The King's family drowned. My father was there. He was the only one who survived. Not for long. You told me that he was accused of stealing a chalice. Yes. But... but I know he was innocent. I heard the story and had to find out what he looked like. He told me his name. I fell in love. I helped him escape. But in the end, they caught up with us. What happened then? They hanged him. Oh. I was there. And you were there, Jack. But you weren't born yet. He was led to the gallows. Everyone was quiet. The people somehow knew he was not a thief. But I knew for sure. He told me. He was so afraid. He didn't want to die. I didn't want him to die, and I prayed. Then I heard his voice, quiet. As if the falling melody might wing and net this ever. At dusk the hunter took his prey, the lark his freedom never. No! No! <laughs> you said that three men were responsible for father's death. <clears throat> Who were they? A sheriff of Shiring. Percy Hamley, Prior James of Kingsbridge, and Archdeacon Whaler and Bygod. They showed no wow. mercy. Neither did I. I curse you! All of you! He will return to haunt you! Jack. One day, you will be judged for what you did. Your houses shall be consumed by fire! Your life shall end in pain and agony. You shall grow old in sadness and regret. The people they killed will return to haunt them. I promised them. We welcome our new prior, Remigius. He helped to recover the bones of the saint of Kingsbridge, Adolphus, from the hands of thieves. Adolphus already rests safely in this great cathedral of Shiring. Our master builder, Alfred, promised me that it will only be a matter of a few years until the cathedral will be finished and the Earl of Shiring has promised to support us. But he has not done so for himself. No, the Earl is not a selfish man. His mother, Lady Hamley, is sick. More and more, I feel the whole of England is suffering from a sickness. The sickness of war, poverty, and most of all, heathen beliefs. I have spoken to God. I asked him, begged him to walk amongst us, to heal us. But God told me that only when this great cathedral is finished will he have a temple to reside in. 
No matter the cost, this shall be a towering castle to protect us from evil and false beliefs. With this cathedral, we will bring an end to the dark times. Wailer and by God. Jack, what are you doing here? My father died by your hands, Waylaren. His name was Jacques Cherbourg. How dare you talk to the bishop like that! He died right here! Who are you? I know that man. He's that bastard from Kingsbridge. That man is my husband. You? All of you, listen to what we have to say. From now on, Kingsbridge is mm. protected. By our knights, by our walls, Robert. and by the word of the king. So whatever you do, we will defend our town, our market and fulling mills. And our cathedral, which we shall rebuild. All workers are invited to come and work for us. Oh, <laughs> preposterous. If you so much as try to bring harm to us, Bishop, we will make sure that you pay for everything you did. Uh-oh. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Challenge issued. Excuse me. Pillars of the Earth. Chapter 16 is done. What you did, you helped Jonathan plant a new tree. You've held your first sermon in a long time disapproved of the deception of the Madonna, but came to see that it gives people hope. Eliana and Jack have returned to Kingsbridge! Exclamation point! Uh-oh. The storm. The storm is going to destroy the cathedral now. 11 years later? Holy crap. A few time jumps here. It had been three years. Three years of drought. Three years of hunger and poverty. England was brought to its knees. Only our walls had kept us safe from the bands of outlaws raiding towns and villages. Bishop Waleran and William Hamley forced the workers to finish their cathedral in Shiring. Many had died. The work on our own cathedral had almost come to a halt. Almost. Four weeks the storm had raged on. It was then that our cathedral gave up its last secret. Uh oh. And everything changed. Okay. Tom, I don't think you would have liked the sight of this. I don't think you would have liked the sight of this at all. I know, you had not planned the cathedral to be that high. But I reinforced the walls, like in Saint-Denis. The storm shouldn't be that much of a problem. But if it's not the storm, then what is it? The east wall is about to collapse. Why? What could be the cause? Mm, no, 
I don't want to break more stones loose. One day, people will fly, like birds, <laughs> sailing on the wind. Rashid told me. The storm makes it worse, but I don't believe it's the cause of our problem. I'd better be careful up here. Over here, the vaulting looks weak. Yeah. What would you have to say about this, Tom? Yes. If the vaulting was unstable, it could pull the wall inward and damage it. Especially with this storm putting pressure on the wall from the outside. Mm. We have to find out. Mm. If I widen these cracks, we'll see if our problem gets worse or not. I don't like it, but I'll have to fix it either way. If I make it worse, then we'll at least know what the problem is. It'll be easier without this sand everywhere. One more time. Ah! Damn! Oh, I'm getting old. Oh. If the vaulting were unstable, this part would have collapsed and the wall would retract. The cause of the problem is not up here. Tom. What would you have done now? <sighs> when we erected the Eastern Wall 17 years ago, there was also a crack. Mm -hmm. Yes. No matter what we did, it always came back. But this is not the same wall we rebuilt it. But the cause could have been the same in both cases. If it's the ground, then they're really in trouble. Um, the crypt, huh? Yes, Tom, you kept the whole foundation there as it was, but it never had to carry this much weight before. That's it! The problem must be down there! They were enraged. Hey, Bishop there's a Henry tree. thinks that the Pope should hear about what you wrote. I think so, too. I would be honored if he read my book. Philip, I really am worried about you. There is no need for you to worry, Jonathan. It is just a book. The problem is that the people love your sermons. And what you wrote. Even though most of them can't read. Your book is being copied in priories all over England. Is that not a good thing, if our message gives people hope? In desperate times, hope can be a powerful force. That is very true. Well, I fear the bishops. They might come to believe you took that power from them. Huh. Do you? The Divine Soul, second book. In his text, Philip suggests that we all carry a godly spark within us because God created man. And while sometimes it may seem as if God has abandoned us, God is indeed always closer to us than anyone else, anything else.
because our soul is of a divine nature. This means that a man, that man does not have to wait for salvation from the outside, but that we all can change the world around us ourselves. We can plant a seed and God in turn will make it grow. Philip's message of hope is heard in all of England and even other parts of Europe. But the church is highly critical of the text. In his first book, Philip had only criticized fake miracles. Now he seemed to claim that as all men are equally divine, members of the clergy are not closer to God's glory than any other man. Jack. That would be Have me. Have you been atop the cathedral during the storm? Yes. Don't worry, Philip. The storm isn't as bad up there. You shouldn't be mm -hmm. out there risking your life. You should be with your children. Children? Sally and Tommy have been asking for their parents all morning. Sally. Aliena and Jack's family. <clears throat> Jack and Aliena's family. 1154. After their promise to Whaler and to keep Kingsbridge protected, Richard and Jack have spent much time fortifying the town. Since then, William Hemley has not dared to attack the town again. Aliena, who has continued her wool business, trades mostly outside of Shiring. Most of the fleece she is trading is produced in Kingsbridge, where Jack erected two felting mills. Aliena and Jack have two children now. Tommy is already 12 years old. His little sister Sally is nine. Martha looks after both of them while Jack and Aliena are working. Some believe that Martha and Richard are in love, but if that is true, they are keeping their secret well guarded. The storm is tearing our east wall apart. If the storm works, I work. Jonathan, did you and the others come directly from Winchester? Yes, we did. What about Aliena? She stayed a day longer for the fleece fair. She should be on her way back now. In this storm? We didn't expect it to get worse. No one did. I am sure she'll be all right. I need to go. I think I know why the East Wall is unstable. Yes? Why is that? I'm not sure, but I, I think the answer lies down in the crypt. I should hurry before it's too late. Mm, excuse me. You'll be happy when I get that problem fixed. If I get it fixed. People love his sermons. His book was written from the heart. He found his truth. I think I know what caused the problems we have with you. Wonderful. You know, I just realized that the crack in the wall reminds me of the one that the old cathedral had. Yeah, that's what he said too. The one that burned down? Yes. I only noticed it when I visited after Prior James died. It wasn't there before then? No. I remember that I thought the crack looked like a finger pointing at the sinners of Kingsbridge. A grim thought. <laughs> I was not happy with the state of Kingsbridge back then. I admit that. No, <laughs> he wouldn't know what to do with them. <laughs> I'll let them know when it's fixed. Jonathan is probably right. Aliena will be fine. Still, I'd feel better if she was here with us. That's not the way to the crypt. The way to the crypt is to the left, but you won't let me go over there. Cemetery. <clears throat> I mean, I know you can get in there from here, but I thought that door on the left there was another way to get in. Uh, 
Ah, uh, that couldn't be causing the trouble we have with the East Wall. Tom said a cathedral is never finished. Now I get what he meant. Once I know what caused this, we can reinforce the wall and fix it. But only if that storm ever stops. Philip is right. It, it does look like a finger. Pointing right at the crypt. It's the rat. First, I need to fix the root cause of the problem, then the problem itself. She has an influence on people, but <laughs> I doubt she can make the walls tumble down. Rashid was right. People love to believe in miracles. The reason most people come to Kingsbridge now is for Philip's sermons. He tells them what they need to hear. He gives them hope. Hmm. That definitely wasn't here before. The cause of the instability must be down here. Here we go. Did he find? Dear God. These stones, they, they've been removed before. Whoever put them back just added some mortar on top of the stones. To hide the fact that they were removed. The tile at the bottom was completely loose. What does that mean? I think it was an entrance. <gasps> an entrance? what we'll find out. Careful now. You've got the whole east wall on top of you. Um, Jack? Jack? I'm all right. I just hit my head. <laughs> it's dark in here. There's a whole room here. A, a chamber. I'll get a torch. Philip, I'll get it. You stay here. <clears throat> Sand everywhere, parts that uh, made the wall unstable. Uh, is, is that a, a coffin? Oh, there's sand everywhere. Uh huh. It's a, a bed. What? Who's been hiding? There's a bed in here. What? <coughs> Jonathan, we need that torch. No. I think we found the cause of our problem already. Who slept here? Strange. Who slept here? Is that looks like a brush. No. It's it's made of leather. It's oh, it's a whip. What is that doing here? What's 
a whip doing here? You know, I'm trying to pick it up. It almost feels like my slingshot. That's not wood. It's metal. Gold, even. I have the torch. <clears throat> All right, come in here. Should be safe. Both of them in there? Did you know about this place? No. No, I did not. That's not much of a torch. I have seen this chalice before, when I was very young. It's the chalice of the Eucharist from Kingsbridge Cathedral. Cuthbert told me about it. They said it was stolen. And melted down, I know. Mother told me. They also said it was my father who did it. Did they? So he's innocent then? He must be. And whoever hid the chalice is responsible for his death. Whaler in. hanged him in Shiring for stealing this chalice. But it was here all along. That scourge, the whip. It belonged to Prior James. I was afraid of it when I first visited Kingsbridge with Francis and Abbot Peter. Even the look of it scared me. James. Maybe it was him. I think I saw him during the night of the fire in the cathedral. When the old cathedral burned down, there was a man in the fire. His shoulders were bloody, as if he had chastised himself. It is you, by God and the devil. He told me that he had sinned, that he had done something to me. Perhaps because I looked like my father. So he confessed for framing your father while he hid the cup here. But it couldn't have been James you saw. James died weeks before the fire. Never found Did a body. He? You said they never found his body. Maybe he hid down here. Maybe that's why the bed's here. Wait. Jack, you were in the burning cathedral. Uh-oh. What were you doing there? told Philip what I'd done. He just looked at me and didn't say anything. Our James Scourge, found by Philip 1154. As a child, Philip was afraid of Prior James's Scourge. He first saw it when he and Abbot Peter, the men who raised him and Francis after their parents were killed, visited Kingsbridge. Years later, James decided that Philip, now a young man, should get the chance to lead his own priory cell, St. John in the Forest. Every time Philip visit, visited his mother, the mother house in Kingsbridge he, in Kingsbridge, he always remembered the day he first saw the scourge. Abbot Peter did not like the idea that pain should lead to salvation, but prior James believed that chastising oneself was the only way to cleanse the soul from the sinful implications of the flesh. After Jack told Philip <clears throat> that he believed Prior James was alive the day the cathedral burned down, Philip remembered that only weeks before, the choir did not dare to sing because he thought because they thought they heard some chastising. S wow, lots of somebody didn't spell check this or proofread it. I thought they heard someone chastising himself in the crypt. Maybe they maybe they really did hear James. Maybe James did hide in the secret room in the crypt. But why? I 
Meanwhile. Oh, you fat slob. Wailer. What do you want? Do you think it is wise to resign yourself to gluttony at times like these? While your people starve on the streets of Shiring? Don't play the saint. You promise them miracles. And you make them pay. But your miracles never work out, do they? God works in ways that we cannot comprehend. My mother cannot walk. You failed. Again. What do you <clears throat> want? I came about a book. The Bible again. No. Philip of Gwyneth wrote it. And the church is displeased. Bishop Henry was enraged. This is our chance, oh, William. Now I'm pissed. Your chance, you mean. If you need forces, talk to Walter or Ugly. I don't care. I built your fucking cathedral. I'm done. It's not just about Philip. It's about Aliena and her family. Don't mention that name. But have you not heard? King Stephen and Maud's son just signed a peace treaty. I don't care. You should care. <clears throat> I said I don't. Now leave and don't come back unless I ask for you. <laughs> Where's my wife? They've not returned yet, Lord William. Then get me a whore. Now! The end of the war. Stephen was right, apparently. The end of the war and the Treaty of Wallingford, 1154. After over 15 years of civil war, the battle between Stephen and Maud, England was more divided than ever. <clears throat> After a final confrontation at Wallingford, Empress Maud's son, Henry II, and Stephen arranged a truce. The treaty was later signed in Winchester and Westminster. According to the treaty, Stephen will remain king until his death and then be succeeded by Henry II. The treaty further states that all decisions regarding land which were made during Stephen's reign are immediately reverted and restored to the time of King Henry I. This means that the earldom of Shiring again belongs to the heirs of Bartholomew and not to the Hamleys. But who would dare go against William Hamley? The heirs of Bartho Bartholomew would be Aliena and, and uh, Robert. In a gal a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. She always looks pissed. So where is this place? <laughs> Safety. any of these people I am sorry for intruding but I must ask you for shelter I was on my way from the fleece fair in Winchester to Kingsbridge and got caught in the storm 
Nasty, isn't it? Yes. A and it's getting worse and worse. Thank you for your hospitality. They haven't said she could come in yet. <laughs> she just comes in and sits down. Someone help me! Please! I need help! Screams coming from outside. Someone's crying. I'm hurt! Why isn't anyone doing anything? Something is going on. <laughs> if I don't help, no one will. Okay, let's... Well... Out here. No time to talk. <laughs> until it's safe to leave. We won't bother you. They don't talk much, do they? I'm Aliena. What's your name? Elizabeth. Breathe, Elizabeth. You're safe now. <clears throat> mm-hmm. She took her. She'll let her die. We would all be better off without someone like her. Just a girl beside herself, the poor soul. <laughs> We don't have much, but always enough for a lost soul. Eat this. You must be hungry. Thank you. That's nice of you. Why are you giving her soup? Dirt. That's what she deserves for dinner. What? Do you want her to starve? Please, don't start a fight. We're gonna warm up the girl. I'm just going to borrow it. Relax, chill. Let's try to get along until the storm passes. Yeah, listen to her. No, they don't deserve her kindness. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey, that's our blanket. Can't you see she's freezing? It's all right. It's just a blanket. 
Oh, you're so kind. Many people would have let me die. People don't listen to me. My entourage didn't even notice they lost me. Who? My husband and his entourage. Some husband. A fine husband you have. I divorced my last one for less than that. Divorced? Oh, he's just been beside himself ever since his mother. Maybe now you'll understand what loss feels like. And what you people are doing to us. Stop bullying her! Can't you see she's upset? Kiff. How do they know you? This isn't right. Oh, I'm used to it. I guess that's how it is when your husband holds an office like that. Uh oh. What does he do? He has to do a lot of things people don't like. Who is he? And sometimes they recognize me, too. Wait. William? Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? I thought you knew. William Hamley. Oh, please don't abandon me too. I, I swear, I'm not. I, I, I can't. I used to know him when I was a girl. Really? What's he like now? I loathe him with all my heart. I had accepted the arrangement with good will, but he had other plans. How do you know him? She already doesn't like him, so be, I don't think being blunt is the wrong choice here. <laughs> He wanted to marry me when I was your age. <clears throat> Apparently, he likes young girls, no matter how old he gets. You too were supposed to marry him. Mm hmm. Uh, how come you? Because he's an asshole. He was a beast. Thank you. So I refused. Y you refused him? It caused a lot of misery. Oh, you're, you're so courageous. I wish I was like you. I, I can't even stand up to the servants. Don't act like you didn't have a hand in the downfall of this land. For years he roamed across the country to raid, rape and kill. I'm sorry. He's no Earl. After all he's taken from us, we should take something from him too. Revolution! Uprising! <gasps> she has nothing to do with this. Don't you dare touch her! Can't you see? She's another one of his victims. <gasps> I'll give over. She's in on it too. Can you even imagine how it must be to be a child married to Hamley? The abuse <clears throat> and the humiliation every single day. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm crying because you know too. Enough to know your pain. I just, I just don't, don't know what to do anymore. Don't go back. Sam, where the hell am I supposed to tether this horse? Oh, it's Walter. Spider. He's looking for me. Come with me to Kingsbridge. People will take care of you there. That should do it. Walter. You. I've not seen you in a long time. William would be very pleased if I brought him your head. No! Don't harm her! If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. 
She saved me from the storm. Did she now? Come on, we have to get back to the castle. We've lost too much time already. Elizabeth stays with me. No, she doesn't. Thank you for saving me and protecting me from these people. Come on now, we need to get going. William is waiting. Okay, let's see about William's wife. Note from Eliana, 1154. Was it my rejection? See, there you go again. <laughs> More proofreading issues. Was it my rejection that bittered William to the prospect of marriage for the years that followed? Was I the reason he married so late? After I met Elizabeth, I later found out that she was the daughter of Harold of Weymouth, <clears throat> wealthy knight and a supporter of Stephen. Elizabeth was only 14 at the time of the wedding. Bishop Whaler and wed them in the Cathedral of Shiring, and everyone of importance was invited to the large feast. Elizabeth is a gentle girl who probably felt honored to be chosen to become the Earl's wife. I dare not imagine how William treated her. One more reason to finally put an end to all of this. <coughs> Oh, end of the chapter. That was a fairly short one. You found a secret chamber underneath Kingsbridge Cathedral. You confessed to Philip that you burned down the cathedral. Philip's book is strongly criticized by the church. The war between Empress Maud and King Stephen has ended! Exclamation point. You found Elizabeth only after you entered the hut. You brought her some soup. You helped warm her up with a blanket. You kept quiet. We did not. We did not keep quiet when Walter entered the hut. Bullshit. <laughs> that is not what happened. Dear Francis, still the writing his brother. I have written to you over the years surely could be bound into a book. One of our young novices once asked me why I write to you, Jonathan, when you are dead. The young can be blunt. <clears throat> but the thing is, I think you are still alive. One day, I hope I will find you, and then you will read these <laughs> letters. And when you do, you will know that I was busy writing a book. Because of my book, I may have to talk to Bishop Henry. But that is not the only thing that keeps me awake tonight. Behind a wall in our crypt, Jack discovered a hidden room. We do not know who built it. But it is likely that Prior James hid there, even after he was said to have drowned. That means he was alive when we met in Kingsbridge on New Year's Day, the day of his burial. And Jack told me he saw a man in the church the night it burned down. Was that him? And if so, did he burn in the fire that night? The dust storm and the drought are taking their toll on all of us. Thanks to our town wall, we are safe from the Earl and the outlaws. We heard of places nearby being raided. We believe the attackers were William Hamley's men. We have enough food to last us another few weeks. But life has come to a halt. Martha believes there will be rain soon. But the storm is only a harbinger of rain. I hope 
that she is right. Jonathan worries about my book. The Divine Soul. In Winchester, he heard that Bishop Henry was less than pleased by what I had written. I am not naive enough to pretend I do not know why. I wrote that hope is godly, and since God made each of us, hope and salvation are only to be found within ourselves. Henry sells hope, and I am giving it away for free. If the church should ask me to clarify my position, of course I shall do so. But I feel I must give our people what they need in these desperate times. And how could I write anything else if this is what I truly believe? It must be well after midnight. With you, I can be honest about what truly troubles me. Jack told me that he was responsible mm -hmm. for the fire in Kingsbridge. I know that it was a long time ago. He told me he set fire to the roof so there would be work for his father, Tom. Save yourselves! Memories. The saint! We must save the saint! Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My god! Don't go in there! Adolphus! The, the saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! And as horrible as it may sound, I cannot find it in my heart just now to forgive Jack. Maybe because this confession comes too late. And from a man who I have learned to trust. <sighs> this is the truth. I should get some air, Francis. The storm has settled down. Uh oh. Jack is still working. <laughs> he always is. I know them by heart. But Jonathan insisted we keep them. What are they? Notes. Wrote down my sermons and became the book I wrote. Should I not write what I believe? I don't like to indulge in my own writings. Time to think. A magnificent cathedral. But I would have been more than content with the old one, had it not Ouch. been burned to the ground. The church has profited from drawing believers to places like this. I hope the believers profit just as much. If James died in that fire, 
Then what happened to his remains? He was never properly buried. And that is Jack's fault. According to the scripture, my brothers will rise again. What if that was not true? Would they have led their lives differently? Jack started the fire. He should have told me. Life passes by like water in a river. There are so many questions the scripture cannot answer. Life, heart, there are so... Going this way. No, I'll take a walk around the cathedral instead. Okay. It is a nice looking cathedral, that's for sure. I'd rather stay outside. The storm has finally died down. <clears throat> Hello? I thought I saw someone. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Two people. That came from the kitchen. We all profit from this cathedral, but God would not have loved us less had we built a smaller church, or none at all. Oh, it's you. You startled me. I, I thought I heard something. Was that you? No, but I heard it too. Maybe Aliena came back. No. No, she's asleep. She returned a few hours ago. Damn it. Jack. Uh -oh. Sorry. There's someone in the kitchen. Yes, I think you're right. Stay behind me. I'll go ahead. Harm. Philip, be careful! Damn it! Philip, throw me a stone! Ah! Jack, no! You raised it's a knife! Him. What was I supposed to do? Brother Marcus. Brother Marcus? He took Cuthbert's keys to steal food here from the kitchen. Because of me, Remigius found out. Mm hmm And he left. We never saw him again. Looks like he came back. Is he dead? 
You didn't mean for this to happen. No, but... What about him? Don't be afraid. Ah! Ow! Why did you do that, you animal? I will get the others. No! What? He's just a child. Just a child. Jack forgave the child. Just like that. And I forgave him. For that was what he had been when he arrived in Kingsbridge. Just this is true. a child. Just a child. Who was I to judge this man for not confessing earlier what he had done? I had never told his wife, Aliena, that I was responsible for her fate and for her father's. Even that night, when we all met, I did not dare to tell her. The walls of Kingsbridge weren't enough anymore. The outlaws had found a way in. We weren't safe in our homes. So this is what it has come to. Kingsbridge is under attack. Why didn't Uncle Richard chase them away? Why? Oh, Richard, sorry. No, no, not do not exaggerate. This is not a siege. We only saw two of them, and one of them was a child. But they almost killed you. Our Earl of Shiring lets his people starve. With this drought, a just lord would help. But nobody stood up to him. So he burns our last crops, destroys our towns, and murders our kin. Richard, please, not now. It is all too easy to blame a desperate child. Forgiveness is much harder. It is. But forgive we must. Can you? Forgive, I mean. I already have. Hamley is the reason for this. He's to blame. It's that simple. Well, he won't be Earl for long. The Treaty <clears throat> of Wallingford has been signed at last. It's only a matter of time until things change. What treaty? Winchester is in turmoil about this right now. Stephen and Maud have signed the treaty. Maud's son, Duke Henry, is to be crowned the next king. And, by agreement, all lands are to be returned to their previous owners. But Stephen will continue to rule as long as he lives. <coughs> the earldom will be ours again. It will not. Why the bloody hell not? Bloody hell. Language? <laughs> no one will enforce this until Stephen is dead. What is to be done then? Can't we just give them something to eat? I'll share. We should, and we will. But there are too many to feed them all. We must do something. Well, I cannot sit quietly and wait until Stephen dies of old age. The Treaty of Wallingford is in place. I won't wait for another 17 years. Not when I'm so close to fulfilling the promise I made to my father. You're right, but it wasn't William Hamley who came here last night. It's the outlaws we need to worry about. Ugh. Well, what do we do about it? Ha! You know, we could solve all our problems with one blow. We could either fight those outlaws, or we could make them fight for us. Fight for you? Right! We could make them attack William Hamley. 
Hmm. Huh. And while they're busy killing each other, we can plan a surprise attack. I won't have any of that. What about his mother? I've heard that Hamley still listens to her, that she still has a say in Earl's Castle. Yes, let's tell his mother. If we spoke to Regan Hamley, we might not need a physical confrontation at all. But how are you going to do that? That'll never work. We have to assault them and take back our father's castle. Even if that means fighting alongside the outlaws. I don't like either choice, to be honest. Neither do I. So, what do you think, Aliena? I'll negotiate with Regan Hamley. I will go to Earl's Castle. Alone? Alone. Are you serious, Ali? Regan Hamley seems to be in a tight corner herself. She might well be willing to cooperate. I do hope you're right. I'll ride with you. You won't, Cub. Not with that leg of yours. Your mother is right. Besides, if we all turn up, they might think we mean them harm. Wow, finishing the chapters really, really quick. Now we may actually finish this tonight at this pace. What you did, the first outlaws have made their way into Kingsbridge. Your former novice brother, Marcus, was one of the outlaws. You have a chance to take back Earl's castle and to fulfill your oath. And so, after 17 years, I finally returned to the place I'd once called home. Because I had the failed return. to gain support from the people of Shiring, my only hope now was a deal with William Hamley's mother, Regan. A woman whose possible support was only guaranteed by rumor. Earl's Castle. Okay, what's this say? Earl's Castle, 1154. Originally, the father of Earl Bartholomew ordered to build a castle a few miles outside the market town of Shiring, which was meant to serve as the seat of the town's Earl. That area, including a small village, the surroundings, and the building itself, is now known as Earl's Castle. The castle had mainly served as living quarters for the Earl's family, but its defenses have rarely been used. After Earl's castle had been violently seized by the Hamleys, all other inhabitants were driven from the estate. Nowadays, Earl's castle is a name to be feared. Ever since the Cathedral of Shiring was finished, William Hamley has become more disgruntled. Some believe he lost his faith and only lives to satisfy his own greed and hunger by stealing from starving peasants. Get in line and stay in line. You'll all get your chance to pay your dues to Lord Hamley, you hear? So no pushing. <clears throat> there she is in line. She's not wearing her normal blue. Why does Lord Hamley need all that food? He's got more than enough. Shut it, woman. Smear your face with dung and lower your head. It's the only way you get out of here alive. It's no coincidence that Hamley always asks for women to bring the tributes. Oh, shut up. Are you all right? What do you think? Of course I'm all right. I'm more all right than anyone else in this crowd. It's Just crony. because Lord Hamley insists on women to deliver the tributes, don't mean you have to send your youngest and prettiest. Fools. <laughs> I'm looking for Lady Regan. <clears throat> ah, good luck. No one has seen that bitch since the death of her husband. If you ask me, she's Percy? nothing but an evil ghost haunting this godforsaken castle. Patience, patience. Everyone will get a chance to pay their dues to Lord Hamley. I'm 
just a shepherd's daughter. I have no business here. Shut up! Have you seen Lady Regan Hamley around? Please, God, please, spare me. Let me get back to my family. Hush. You'll be all right. She's ignoring me. Calm yourself. I'll make sure that nothing will happen to you. They took a woman in my town. She never came back. Nothing will happen to you if you just remain calm. I want to go home. Okay, nothing's happening. Oi, you there. Yes, I meant you. That's a pretty face you got there. You're coming with me. What? Leave her. Take me instead. Hmm. Hmm. Well, whatever. You'll walk to the other side of the yard and talk to Walter. You'll get you settled. And don't you dare stray from the path. Walter will recognize her. Even though she's not wearing her blue outfit. <clears throat> Tell anyone I'm looking for her. They say Lord Hamley might lose Shiring soon. What if the next Earl has us all hanged? Calm down. None of these royals really care about this shite hole. I know those two. They used to fight for father. What about Bartholomew's children? There's a lot of bad blood there. Well, the boy used to fight for Stephen, but as far as I know, he ran out of coin. Now he's just a good-for-nothing playing watchman for those monks in Kingsbridge. And um, the Lady Aliena? Don't make me laugh. Oh, I think you underestimate her. Some years back, I heard she almost cut up a priest. <laughs> put a knife to his throat and robbed him dry. Oh, she's a fury. And you're a sissy. May I interrupt? What is it? How can you fight for someone like William Hamley? My father was nothing like that tyrant. Oh, dear Lord, it's you. You always sat in your neat little keep playing hostess to his well-off guests, while the poor snuffed it just as they do now. Well, at least William treats us as his equals, and not like pawns on a board of nine men's Morris. my father really that bad? Your mother could have answered that question. He once told me that she was very unhappy when she died. And you never wondered why? I'm here to talk to Lady Regan Hamley. She's in the keep. But only Lord William and Walter are allowed to go there. And they'll kill you if they find you there. So you won't help me? We've already helped you more than enough by not ratting you out. My father was a good Earl. Keep on telling yourself that. But that's not our story. Hmm. Many knights fighting for him were former outlaws who had nowhere to go anymore. Your father may have given us food and shelter, but it was no better than what you'd give to livestock. Okay. Don't tell anyone that you saw me. We won't, if you promise to leave now. <clears throat> I don't see her here. It's been so long since we left. get in the back no in the earlier parts of the game we could get back there go around the back that way but I guess we gotta go this way this time
Are is you this done yet? My benefit because Almost. I'm benefiting. Let me just see if I took enough. Eldahar, oh yeah. <laughs> you did. It was at uh five? No, it was at four. No, it was at five. It was at five. All is right with the world, I guess. Elizabeth again. There she is to save the day. Even more tired than last time. All right, let's see. She probably knows or can get us up there. Maybe. Sneak in. What are you doing here? You need to leave. Don't come any closer. William has me watched. What's taking so long? Uh, I, I forgot the pork. I'll be out shortly. Wait a moment, then follow me. We don't have much time. You will look for me any moment now. So why did you come? I'm waiting! King Stephen has declared a truce with Empress Maud. William's tyranny is over. This land might finally see peace again. That's why I'm here, to talk to his mother. And what will become of me? Make it her choice. That's up to you. I fought to become a wool merchant. You could too. I don't think I can be like you. What's holding you back? William. I, I want to help you. I, I really do. But I, I don't know how. Help me get in there to talk to her. I feel so useless. Can you take me to Lady Hamley? I, I wouldn't know how. Hugh Axe is watching me. He would never let you through. Only Walter and I are allowed inside the keep. W why... Why don't you ask him? Walter. Walter? William's dog? Don't call him that. He's not as bad as people say he is. Oh? <sighs> William won't allow me to talk to him anymore. Now Lady Regan is all I have left. I will talk to Walter then. Hurry up in there! Or do you want me to come in and pull you out? I need to go. Elizabeth seems to trust Walter. Was I wrong about him? Uh, do we want to take the chance of going up? Let me grab a safe. Oh, that's where he is. Do, do, do. <laughs> Walter. William's first henchman and instructor. He has grown, he too has grown old. <clears throat> Elizabeth claims you aren't such a bad person after all. Am I not? Have you forgotten that I killed your family steward? You got problems over there, Walter?
Tell your guard to stand down. Have a heart. So, you think I'm a nice bloke? And you give me orders on how to handle my men? Don't make me laugh. Shoo! What? I promise, once my family is back in charge, things will get better for everyone. Or do you really not care for all the starving people? I don't believe you. But it's not up to me to judge these things. I'll take you to Lady Hamley. She'll decide. Thank you. That's what we wanted all along. <laughs> <clears throat> My lady? Elizabeth, could you get me some water, dear? Yes, my lady. But first, I need you to wake up, my lady. There is someone who wants to see you. It's the Lady Aliena. The Lady Aliena? When did that bitch become nobility again? I'm sorry for intruding, but this is very important. Important? As if anything you have to say could be of any importance to me. I'm certain you've heard about the treaty the King made with Duke Henry at Wallingford Castle. I have. I have also heard that it's a muddled mess. It is a complicated deal indeed, but one that will end the war. And one that makes my family the rightful owners of this earldom once more. Only by word. There's no one who would come to enforce this. Not even the king. Don't you see what your son is doing to the land? Soon there won't be an earldom left to rule for anyone. That's a lie. My William is a better Earl than your father ever was. To think that I once wanted to marry my good William into a family like yours. Not a day goes by when I am not glad that God saved us from that horrible fate. And that he sent that monk to Bishop Waleran to unveil your father's evil plan. What monk? That prior of Kingsbridge. Philip of Gwyneth. What? Please, my lady. You need to hear her out. Oh. My dear Elizabeth. Don't you see what she is trying to do to us? Are you saying that Prior Philip told the bishop about my father? Yes. He came to see Waleran in person. A messenger of God's great plan. And we've been in control ever since. If you don't listen, things will get worse for everyone. People are starving because of your son. They will rise up and come for you. They're already attacking Kingsbridge. It's only a matter of time till they come here. My lady. The Lady Aliena came here to make things better. She has only ever made things worse. She mocked my son for wanting to marry her. She had every right to deny him. What? How can you say that? He is your husband. He's good to you. If it wasn't for Walter, I'm sure William would have killed me already. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Oh, it's What's you. What's bitch doing here? She's trying to bargain. She's trying to take everything. Is she? Is she now? Leave it. Walter? Man. Oh! No. You brought this on yourself. You 
You bloody traitor! Wow! Someone get up here! Men! You, you guys pay. suck. You will all pay for this. I know, right? <laughs> oh, I feel so bad about that. <laughs> ah, he's only had that coming for about, what, <laughs> 10 or 12 hours? <laughs> oh, he did. I, is he dead? He is. William Hamley is dead. What now? Commander. Nice work. Now, we tell his men. <laughs> Drop your weapons immediately! Behold the banner of the new Earl of Shiring! Everyone, listen! Lord Hamley is dead! The castle now belongs to the former Earl's family again. What? You're shitting us! It was the King's wish! Who killed him? He died because he refused to hand over Earl's castle peacefully. He knew that the king was about to take the earldom away from him. To avoid punishment, he took his own life. My name is Lady Aliena of Shiring. I'm the daughter of Bartholomew, the former Earl of these That's lands. That's not what I thought I was going to get with that I've choice. I've been tasked to end the tyranny of William Hamley and restore order to Shiring. Our occupation of Shiring has been made unlawful. Every attack on us is sanctioned by the King of the English. So what will happen to us then? I shall tell the King that <clears throat> William Hamley forced you to do his bidding. That every atrocity done to the people of Shiring was his doing and his alone. That is my final word. You will get your chance for redemption by helping the people of Shiring recover from your own cruelty and by rebuilding their homes and tending to their oh, fields. Oh god, we are so far past break. <laughs> Holy Ali, crap. I know that you're a much better leader than I. Without you, we would never have come this far. You never hesitated with swearing and fulfilling the oath to father. In the end, I will be the Earl in name only, but you shall be the true ruler of Shiring. Absolutely. <laughs> Richard, thank you. I owe you a lot, Ali. The tyranny of William Hamley is over! The earldom of Shiring belongs to its rightful heir! Reinstatement of Aliena of Shiring. <clears throat> King Henry II by the council of all his barons and the fulfillment of the treaty of Wallingford has decreed that Shiring and each township after I read this, we'll take a break shall return to the owners from before the former Lord King Stephen's stewardship within the term fixed for its sovereignty. Those to be in succession by blood of former Earl Bartholomew of Shiring shall claim the title. Therefore, Aliena of Shiring is to be announced Countess of Shiring in an official inauguration until her son, Tommy, becomes of age. 
Send a messenger to Kingsbridge to let Prior Philip know that Shiring is finally free. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Why are they laughing? You can send a messenger if you want. But there won't be much of a prior left when uh -oh. he arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, what's going on? That does not sound good at all. Okay, chapter 19 is complete. What you did. You snuck into Earl's castle with no one to support you. You talked to two former knights of your father. Elizabeth did not leave Earl's castle and stayed with you to the end. You ordered William's men to help rebuild Shiring. Richard made you the true Earl of Shiring. All right, so let me do that. We'll get it paused because it's break time and I have to go pee. <laughs> we are 15 minutes past break time. So let me go do my normal stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, check mail. I haven't done that yet. It did rain, so hopefully it's uh, not still raining. So yeah, we'll take, uh, where are my breaks? I think about 10 minutes. We'll come back. Looks like we're probably going to finish this. So we got 20 and 21. So we got two chapters left. So it looks like we may actually finish it today. All right. So let's do. Um, let's do this one. Nine and a half. I'll be back. Sit tight. Thank you for being here, guys. I appreciate it. I shall return.
Alrighty, we are back. Let's continue. We've got two chapters left. <clears throat> the Pope believes we should either burn him or make him Bishop of Kingsbridge. I have already taken matters into my own hands. My men arrested him while Kingsbridge was left unguarded. While his friends took Earl's castle? Yes. At least in his death, William Hamley was of use to you. <laughs> the end? There's supposed to be 21 chapters. Epilogue? Look at all these people. Seems like they're enjoying themselves. <clears throat> they never change. You drooling dogs should be ashamed! Shut up, you old hag! Ellen? I'm not feeling well. I'll stay with you. Go ahead. We'll come after you. Quick. You can't be too late. Is... is your mother ill? It's... it's not that. This is... this is where they hanged my father. Yep. We saw that earlier tonight. <coughs> The trial begins. The judges, brother of Stephen, king of the English, the right reverend Bishop Henry of Winchester, her highness, the countess Lady Aliena of Shiring. Presiding over the trial, the right reverend Bishop of Shiring and Kingsbridge, Waleron by God. Please. The church is not without fault. We have gathered here today before the eyes of God to accuse one of our own. He wrote in his book that the church and the papacy are not necessary as intercessors between God and man that God is in man, that all men are equal, and that each sinner is as close to our Lord as the Pope himself. Now we ask God for his judgment, for his is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Not ours, and not yours. You stand accused of heresy. Philip of Gwyneth, how do you <clears throat> plead? Answer! Prior, respond to Bishop Waleron. I am guilty. Hang it! Heretic! He, he must be killed. punished! I am deeply saddened. It may come as a surprise to you, but we had hoped to make you Bishop of Kingsbridge. Why has it come to this, Philip? In part, I am to blame. I supported Philip in his early years. I demand that Philip be removed from his position of prior immediately. No! I was gonna say, when is Aliena and gonna that speak he up? he remain in captivity until such time that Shiring and all <clears> of England <throat> have healed from the poisonous words he has dispersed. No! What? Yes? You are accusing Philip because he has defied you! I made him prior, and grateful he was not. But no, I accuse him because his teachings are false. And I intend to prove that Philip's decisions have been more than misguided in the past. Call in Remedius. The prior of Shiring. 
Father Remigius. My bishop. Tell the court, Remigius, what you have told me. For many years, I served as sub-prior of Kingsbridge. First for Prior James, then for the accused. What was your first impression of him? I was offended by his bluntness and accusations during the chapter discussions. What else? Prior Philip did not hesitate to give refuge to the people fleeing Earl's castle in the winter that our king died. Is that not a good deed? A true Christian act? You do not know him as well as you think you do, Lady Aliena. Today, that will change. The future master builder of our cathedral and his woman were among those taking refuge. They were living in sin. They were unmarried and fornicating. <gasps> fornicating? Philip oh my god. Allowed them to stay. Why would he do that? I do not know, my bishop. Maybe because he himself was involved in similar affairs. We will see. Then, on the day of our first fleece fair, we were attacked. I heard. It was terrible. I tried to soothe the woman's pain by reading the scripture to her. The builder's woman I have spoken of tried to put a spell on her with poisonous herbs. And Philip intervened. Yes. He pushed me aside and gave the woman he, poison. He healed her, dude. He It is worse than I thought. It was no poison. Where's Ellen? And then there was the day the Virgin Mary's statue <clears throat> arrived in Kingsbridge. I did not believe it was a miracle. <gasps> the Virgin Hail Mary! Mary. Is is a miracle. The Virgin Mary tears. herself spoke to me. Me too. Clearly it is a miracle. I hear of many who were healed in Kingsbridge. Yes! Amen! Amen. Oh, Mary, bless us all! Well, I soon realized it was a true miracle, but Philip did not. He was only after the money people donated at the Virgin's Shrine. That is why I left. He had to! Amen! I believe there is one more thing you have not told us about. Something very important. Yes. Philip has fathered a child! Unbelievable! What? what? A son. And he raised him in the priory. Jonathan? He is guilty! No. Jonathan of Kingsbridge, step forward. It's Tom's son. <clears throat> this is preposterous. Is it? Is this true? Are you Philip's son? Answer the question, Jonathan of Kingsbridge. I have no father. Everyone has a father. That may be, but if Philip was my father, he would have told me. How do you know he did not lie to you? Speak. Answer the bishop. Philip would never lie. He told me that I was found in the woods. His brother. In the woods. Is this true, Philip? Or are you lying? Well, you told the story so many times. My brother found him. Your brother? Technically, both of those statements are true. Have he not been working for Earl Robert of Gloucester? <clears throat> you have not seen him in a long time now, have you? Let us ask your brother if your stories are true. Uh oh, is Francis actually alive? We've been led to believe he's dead. Fran 
Francis. What happened to you? This is not your fault. He does this to hurt you. By God. Francis <clears throat> of Gwyneth. He was arrested more than 15 years ago. <sighs> he was arrested for conspiring against his own master, Earl Robert. Remove the prisoner. Philip told me himself, and I told Earl Robert. For God and the Church cannot take sides in these <clears throat> conflicts. Only one brother has been tried so far, but both of them conspired against Earl Robert. And his ally, Earl Bartholomew, your father, Lady Aliena. Philip took in all those refugees years ago because he was to blame for their fate. As he was for yours when you lost your father and your earldom. That, Lady Aliena, is the man you are trying to protect. Well? I know that he is a troubled man. We've all had to make hard decisions. Decisions that seemed right at the time. When indeed, they were terrible mistakes. I am thankful that I was forgiven when I made a mistake. Now I forgive him. <laughs> Let us now return to the problem at hand. There is a man who witnessed how Jonathan was found in the forest. A man who can shed light on who Jonathan's father really is. And who is that? My husband. Step forward. What is your name? He is the master builder of Kingsbridge. Have you lost your courage? No, I have not. You know well why it would be hard for me to face you. They call me Jack, after my father. My name is Jack Jackson. Yes, we have met before. How old were you when you allegedly saw Jonathan as a child in the woods? Twelve. But I know what I saw. Philip told the truth. Tch, you were a child. <clears throat> and what were you doing there, in the woods? I was living in the forest, with my mother. They were outlaws. Prior Remigius is the most trustworthy witness we've seen today, and his statement was quite damning to Philip. The distant memories of an outlaw child cannot convince me otherwise. He fathered a child! Let no! him go! He would never do that! And yet, Lady Aliena is right. We do not know enough to judge him as harshly as you proposed, Bishop Waleron. You are right, Bishop Henry. As I said, it is not up to us to judge this man. Philip of Gwyneth has admitted part of his guilt. But how guilty is he? We ask God for his judgment. As Bishop of Kingsbridge and Shiring, I demand an ordeal by fire. This is madness! Where's... Philip of Gwyneth will be tried and judged at the stake. If he is innocent, God will save him from the flames. If he is not, <clears throat> then he will burn as the heretic and sinner God has declared him to be. No! Wailer and by God! Not this time. 
right. <sighs> I saw the child and Francis. I was there. Philip is not the child's father. He is a fool, but he is a good <laughs> man. Then who is the father? Tom Builder. They are all in this together. This woman is a witch and an outlaw, living in sin with a thief. He was hanged in Shiring 30 years ago. He was not Where's a thief. Where's the chalice? He was a good man. You've murdered him, Wailer and by God. What is this nonsense? He was there a you thief. Go. He stole a now they present chalice it. and melted it down and sold it. What chalice? This one. The chalice of the Eucharist. He stole it from the cathedral you mean of this one? <laughs> Sacrilege. Yes, Prior James of Kingsbridge caught him red-handed. Is that the chalice? You said it was melted down and sold. Fall not for their lies. That could be any chalice. This does not prove a thing. Where did you find this chalice? In a secret chamber. We believe Prior James hid it because he felt guilty for falsely accusing Jack's father. What proof do you have? He told me. The night the cathedral burned down, I was there, I saw him. Prior James died weeks before that. Never found the body. No, he did not. Bishop Henry, he speaks the truth. Order! I will give you until sunset to produce a witness who can prove your accusations against Bishop Where's William. James? Not just this chalice. If you fail to do this, I will make sure you are tried for defamation. Philip of Gwyneth, you will stay under arrest. The trial recommences at sunset. We need a witness. What are you doing there? I've seen you draw up plans for a cathedral. Maybe we can do something similar to find our witness. Let's see. Your father. He looks just like you. My grandmother said he did. And Bishop Waleron. What are the connections? Maybe, by exploring them, we can find a witness. Good idea. Jack's father, if he was still with us, he could be our witness. Maybe he still can. <clears throat> if my father had not come to England, none of this would have happened. Perhaps. Or maybe it would have happened to someone else. That's true. Waylon would have hurt others. He's responsible for all this. And we'll prove that. My father was younger than I am now when he died. Waylon will pay for what he did to him. Shaq Sherborg, help us save Philip, please. My father was younger than I am. Bishop Waylon is at the center of all this. Waleran is a man who thinks of himself, not of others.
We must find a witness or Waylaren will burn Philip. Waylaren is a man who thinks of... Okay, um... <laughs> Jack Sherborg, help us save Philip, please. Mother says Waylaren was behind my father's death. Mm -hmm. And she said he wasn't alone. There were three men responsible for your father's <clears throat> death. James. Bishop Waylaren. Percy Hamley. Mm -hmm. Back then he was the Sheriff of Shiring. And Prior James of Kingsbridge. Mm -hmm. If they were all there, then they were all witnesses. And only Waylaren's still alive. Hardly a coincidence. Why would these three men work together to falsely <clears throat> accuse your father? Hmm. He was on the white ship. No one survived that night. No one lived to tell the story. Yes. He was the sole survivor. And then they killed him. But why? Now, what about Prior James? If only James was still with us. He regretted what he did. Maybe he would have helped us to save Philip. In a way, he is helping us. Without him, we would not have found the chalice. I think I understand now why Philip warned us against mixing religion and politics. God will judge him for his sins. I think I understand now. Why would Whaler and Percy and James be concerned about the White Ship? The son and heir of King Henry was on board. So were other possible heirs and other members of the royal household. I heard that Stephen was supposed to be on the ship as well, but became ill. Right. He was he the was only, the only that was male still alive. heir. The only threats were the king's daughter Maud and mm. her half brother Earl Robert, and they've been at war ever since. And your father, Earl Bartholomew. He was a threat. He tried to stop Stephen and paid for that with his life. Maybe my father saw something on the white ship. Proof that Stephen was involved. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. What, a homer and two doubles? Waylaren, Percy and James might have been working for those who sunk the white ship. Guy's a stud, man. The three people who murdered my father might have worked for someone else. Someone who had an interest in drowning the king's heirs. And what about the ship? The white ship. Had those on board survived, there would have been no war, no anarchy. My father might still have been alive. And mine. Waylaren, Percy and James might have been working for those... William Hamley's father? Percy Hamley was involved in all this. But the dead don't talk. True. What we need is a witness, a living one. Do you think Stephen would have approached Percy directly? Because of the white ship? To help him cover up his tracks? I don't think so. I think it's more likely that Waylaren contacted Percy. Just like he did when he wanted Percy to arrest my father. Hmm. 
Hmm. What about the king? Do you really believe the king is involved in all this? Well, that would at least explain why Whaler and asked Bishop Henry to be part of this trial. Right. He's Stephen's brother. They seem to have known each other for a long time. As a child, I thought the king would be a hero. Like Alexander the Great. What kind of man would kill so many for a wooden throne and a crown? Power. As a child... Stephen always claimed that it had been God's will that he was not on that ship. That he remained as the only male heir. That wasn't God. I bet Stephen had a hand in the sinking of the ship. Now imagine what would have happened if he had learned that someone survived. Someone who might have seen what really happened that night. If Stephen was responsible for the sinking of the white ship, then he may have wanted the only witness of what really happened to disappear. But he wouldn't have done it himself, of course. No. If the White Ship is involved, then it's likely that Waylaren was told by King Stephen to murder your father. But he was not king back then. Why would Waylaren listen to him? He was promised to become bishop. Of course. Remember, Bishop Henry is Stephen's brother, and back then he was already one of the most influential clerics in all of England. But if Bishop Henry is in on all this, what chance do we have to turn this trial around? It is a public trial. All we want is for Philip to go free. We find a witness to expose Waylaren. Henry would have to play along to appear innocent. Are you sure that's a good idea? It's our best shot. What kind of man would kill so many? Do you think the king told James to arrest my father? Uh, no. I find it much more likely that James was instructed to frame your father by Waylaren, his superior. As Archdeacon, Waylaren was much more involved in politics than James would have been. I don't think the King was very close with Percy. Otherwise, there would have been many arrests after Percy was poisoned. But the King didn't seem to care. The King of the English. A ruthless murderer. <sighs> My father was right about Stephen. The King of the English. My father was younger than I am now when he... If the King is behind all this, what chance do we have to stop Whaler and, and save Philip? We must do our best. Well, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure out the right sequence of... I thought I had it there a minute ago. Percy Hamley was the Sheriff of Shiring. Yep. Well, he could have ordered your father to be hanged. Yep. But he was arrested and held in Kingsbridge first. Where James was. Prior James claimed that my father had committed theft. Uh, how are Prior James and Percy Hamley connected? Not at all, I would guess. Except through Bishop Waleran. Yes. He needed James to arrest my father and Percy Hamley to hang him. Now both of them are dead. That can't be a coincidence. Percy Hamley was poisoned. One less witness it knew about Waleran. And Waleran probably wanted William to become Earl, 
He was easier to control than his father. What about Regan Hamley? She survived. She was taken to her townhouse in Winchester. And in her condition, she might not be able to help at all. Percy could not have become Earl without Waylaren's help. But then he was killed. Maybe he wasn't as useful an Earl as Waylaren had hoped. Oh, let's see. Percy and his wife had always lusted for power. Mm hmm. I remember well when the Hamleys took my father's castle. Percy and his wife had always. The king made Percy Earl of Shiren. Maybe because he was indebted to Percy. And not only because he had arrested Earl Bartholomew. I don't think the king was very close with Percy. Otherwise, there would have been many arrests. Percy and James died under mysterious circumstances. And Whaler and lives. Percy was involved in the hanging here in Shiring. He was the sheriff. Right. I remember well when the Hamleys took my father. Maybe Whaler and supported Percy to become Earl because he helped kill Jack's father. Percy could not have become Earl without Whaler, but then he was killed. Maybe he... The Prior and the Sheriff. One called my father a thief, the other hanged him for it. Percy and James died under mis... Percy ordered Jack's father to be hanged, but he was arrested by Prior James. Percy was involved in the hanging. The king made Percy Earl of Shiring, maybe because he was indebted to Percy, and not only because he had arrested Earl Bartholomew. The three people who murdered my father might have worked for someone else, someone who had an interest in drowning the king's heirs. Percy and his wife had... Maybe Waylaren supported Percy. Percy ordered Jack's father to be hanged. I don't think the king was very... Otherwise, yeah. there would have been... Yeah. The prior and the sheriff. Okay. Percy could not have become... But yeah. then he was killed. Yeah. Wailer and Percy and James might have been working. The king made Percy Earl of Shiring, but maybe because he was indebted to okay, Percy. Okay, so who's going to be in the bottom right-hand corner? And not right only because he'd arrested Earl Bartholomew. It's possible that King Stephen asked Waylaren to kill Jack's father. I don't think the king was very... Otherwise, there would have been... It is unlikely Prior James ever met the king. The king and Prior James are connected. Not directly. Okay, um... Is King Stephen behind all this? Then what about his brother, Bishop Henry? If the King is behind all this, what chance do we have to stop Whaler and, and save Philip? We must do our best. My father was right about... My father wanted to go to England. 
He was the only one who made it when the white ship sank. The three people who murdered my father might have worked for... Whaler and Percy and James might have been working for those who sunk the white ship. The three people who murdered my... Hardly a coincidence that the King's heirs all died on that ship. Maybe my father knew what happened. It is unlikely Prior James... James was the Prior of Kingsbridge. Mm -hmm. That's where they say your father stole the chalice, melted it and sold it. But we know that's not true. As we found it, Philip recognized the chalice. But Bishop Henry wants a witness. The chalice isn't enough. But it's an important lead for us. I think we're getting closer. Maybe Stephen never came up with the plan to hang your father. You mean, Whaler and did it because he heard rumors and wanted to get closer to Stephen and Bishop Henry? Maybe. The chalice was used to kill the last survivor of the White Ship. Yes. The chalice and the ship. Your father is the connection. He is. The chalice was used to kill the last... Yes. So Whaler and the others claimed your father had stolen a chalice from Kingsbridge Cathedral, and that he sold it? Yes. We know that's not true, but we need a witness. It's the only way to help Philip. <laughs> James claimed that your father had stolen the chalice <clears throat> and sold it. But instead, James himself hid it in Kingsbridge, in the crypt. We found his scourge in a bed down there. That secret chamber is important. We're close. Running out of room for glyphs too, so yes, we're close. <laughs> Do you think that the king knew about this secret room? No, I... I'm sure if Waylaren didn't know, the king didn't know either. And Waylaren looked genuinely surprised when I mentioned it. All these years, there was proof hidden beneath our cathedral that the sinking of the white ship was no accident. Proof that the whole war was started by cowardly men who were after the throne. That you found the chalice in Kingsbridge and that it was hidden away proves your father was innocent. We so already know that. It doesn't prove that Whaleran is behind it. Correct. Why was the chalice hidden? And by whom? You said <laughs> Prior James was full of regret. Yeah. He probably couldn't just destroy the chalice. Not even after he used it to frame your father. It was the chalice of the Eucharist, after all. And a token for what he did. The chalice was kept in that room by James? The chalice was hidden away. Maybe by James. The chalice was kept... I'm sure Percy knew that your father was falsely accused. <clears throat> but I doubt he was involved in hiding the chalice. But the monks would have noticed if Percy Hamley had dug a secret chamber in the crypt of Kingsbridge Cathedral. So someone else hid James and the chalice. Someone who knew his way around the Priory. And who could walk around the Priory unnoticed. Do you think Whaleran knew about the hidden chamber? No. If he had known, then he wouldn't have been that surprised when he saw the chalice. Everyone thought Prior James was dead. Mm -hmm. That he broke into the ice. And now we know he was hidden away. Why did his monks believe he was dead? Sub-Prior Remigius told everyone he had found James' rosary by the river. So everyone thought the body had been washed away. They buried an empty casket. But how is Remigius involved? 
Philip told me that Remigius was there when Waylorin made Philip prior. Waylorin and Remigius knew each other. That explains why Waylorin later made Remigius prior of Shiring. And Remigius recognized my mother when we arrived in Kingsbridge. <laughs> he must have been there at the time my father was arrested. I think Remigius knows all about this. Is it possible that Waylorin told Remigius to make Prior James disappear when James began to talk about what they'd done? When James started talking to the devil. But for some reason, <clears throat> Remigius hid him away. But Waylorin never knew. Yes, that explains why he really didn't believe you. When you said you had seen James in the fire. Where James died after all. And Remigius thought no one knew. We have to find Remigius. He's our witness. Let's hurry. It's getting dark already. He did leave. The trial will continue soon. People know you two. You shouldn't walk around showering like that. Uh-oh, Jonathan gonna come uh, to the rescue? He's right. I'll go look for him. Mm. Mm. All right. Take care of yourself. And Jonathan. Yes? We will talk later about what was said today. About Tom? All right. Remigius, now where are you? Oh god, we gotta do this again. See, so it's probably gonna be one of these three. Or sorry, one of these two. Have you seen Father Amegius? The prior of Shiring? He was here a moment ago. Where's he now? What do you want with him? Yeah, what do you want with him? Oh, forget it. He was here. Do you want to go in, Father? No, not yet. Thank you. Are you not with Prior Philip? Yes, I am. I pray they'll set him free. He's a good man. He is a heretic! You're fools! Look at yourselves! Who are you to judge a man who has never hurt anyone? Forgive them, Father. We don't judge him, but God will! Okay. <laughs> Remigius? I don't think he's here. There he is. Wait, was that him? I think I saw him. Is that Ellen? Have you seen a priest walk through here? Father Amegius? No, sorry, I haven't. All right. Hey. Alfred. Yes? You're Jonathan, right? Yes. Your brother. I am. And who are you? Your brother. Never mind, but there's something you should know. Tom Builder. He left you behind because your mother died. He had no way to feed you. He thought he had no other choice. How do you know all this? He went looking for you an hour later, but you were gone. And when he finally found you in Kingsbridge, he was there for you ever since. But he thought he'd lost the right to be your father. Just who are you? Just remember what I said. I pray they won't burn, Philip. He's a good man. Uh, can we go home, Daddy? Yes. Let's go home. <sighs> Hello? The door's open. Is anyone there? You had one task. 
By God! No! Uh, I'm gonna kill him or try to anyway. Oh, Bishop is very. Timothy. Very. Timothy is Wailerin's um assistant, I guess you could say. No! What are you doing? I'm doing what is asked of me. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> No, stay away. This does not concern you. No. Who told you to do this? No one. I, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, see you, Timothy. <gasps> or not. Why did he do this to you? Splat. I will tell you. I will tell everyone. Do you have a witness? Father Remigius, prior of Shiring. Where is Timothy? Dead. What they told you is true. Bishop Whaleran wanted the jongleur Jacques Cherbourg dead. He ordered our prior James to frame him. And so he did. This is a lie! Is it? James lost his mind because of what he did for you. He was about to tell everyone the truth. And then you ordered me to kill him. Nonsense. Let him speak. I couldn't do it. I hid him, but he died in the fire. Jack saw him. It was him. I found the bones after the fire, and I buried them. You should put an end to this, Henry. You really should. Why would I? You should stop this for your own sake. You knew about all this. Why would I care if that jongleur lived or died? Your brother cared. The jongleur survived the sinking of the white ship. He saw how your brother's men killed the king's family so that he could take the throne. <clears throat> this is preposterous. Bishop Henry and King Stephen ordered us to kill the man. You want the truth? That's the truth. Right there. It is not. Uh-oh. Waleron is a liar. Regan Hamley. I have waited long enough for this day. It is time I raise my voice. The woman, Ellen, she spoke the truth. Three men were responsible for the death of the jongleur. James, the prior of Kingsbridge. <clears throat> the sheriff, my husband, Percy Hamley. But it was Waleron who was behind it. And only Waleron. No! He had heard rumors about the White Ship, about our king. He had hoped to win the king's favor. By hanging an innocent man. But it was not just me. They all knew. Take him away. <laughs> Executed with impunity. This is for taking my husband's life. 
It was Wellerin! Oh, we did it! It's over! Yes, it's over. Thank you, Lady Hamley. This monk must learn his lesson. The Pope would agree. This trial is not over. Philip has admitted to heresy. He challenged the teachings and the authority of the Church. The ordeal of fire will take place. To show that the Church is not above God. To show that my brother, the King of the English, is not above God. Not we, but God, shall judge this man. This is madness! No, he can't do this! Philip! No! You cannot do this! This is now a matter of the church, Lady Aliena. I mean, he's right. My brother, the king, and I accepted the traitor Waleran into our midst. We were fools and sinners. It's gonna start raining. <laughs> I pray that our Lord will save Philip from these flames. For his salvation shall be a salvation for all of us sinners. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, upon earth as it is in heaven. Give Light the fire! Was he actually burned alive? I guess he was. Bishop Whalerin was brought to justice. Philip admitted to heresy. Francis is alive because of Philip. He was arrested by Whalerin in 1136. You managed to clear the name of Jack's father. Aliena forgave Philip for causing her family's downfall. <clears throat> John Finally, Jonathan learned who his parents were. Did he? Well, yeah, I guess he did. He just, he doesn't know that Alfred is his brother. Philip was ordered to be burned alive. I guess this is the epilogue. Yeah, that, that kind of hurt a little bit. this he's alive that's Philip Jonathan. Ah, Philip. It is so good to see you, Jonathan. No! Tell me, how are things at St. John in the Forest? Francis is well. That is wonderful. Yes, he enjoys the life there. You look worried, Jonathan. Well, you have a visitor. He just arrived. 
Is that not a good thing, Jonathan? Who is it? That is just it. I wasn't sure if you wanted to see him. Remages? It has been a long time. Oh, Waylerin. Ah, yes, it has. I had to know. Know what? <laughs> the truth is, I never saw God or the devil. Have you? Oh, Lord. Deliver us from evil. Our Father, who art in heaven, God, there, hallowed be thy name. There must be something we can do. Oh, stop this thy madness! Oh, oh, are you heaven. blind? Do you not know that a fire will burn any man? No matter who he is! Why are you doing this? After Waylon's words, there is doubt in their hearts about my motives. About my brothers. No words can erase that doubt, but God can. Our Lord is a cleansing fire. <clears throat> He's still alive. <laughs> it's a miracle. A miracle? He is a man. God is here. Is they probably possible? did something to the pyre. It's all a matter of perspective. <laughs> we have to stop this! No, Jack! Come. My God. No. But that's what they see. That's what they believe. Yep. The water. Yep. It's it's dowsing the flames. It's they staged it's a trick. it. To them, it's a miracle. The justice of our church. I believe Philip understands that now. His book will be destroyed. If you or your friends ever mention the white ship again, I promise you will take prior Philip's place. And God will not be as forgiving. Their faith in you and your church is restored. I say it was worth sparing that monk's life. Politics. Promise me that Waylaren will suffer. <laughs> Executed with impunity. <clears throat> wow, another 20 years. Philip? Hmm? Yes? Did you see God? Oh, okay. Did he save you that night? Waylaren needed to find him himself, so I did not tell him. Philip is back. Philip! Did you walk all the way again? Just part of it. Old fool. Hmm. Ellen stayed in Kingsbridge. I thought I had lost God, that he did not watch over us. But now I see him every day. He is in the good we do. In how we show our love. Jack's hands had become rough, his hair grey. But his eyes still burned bright like hot coals. It's good to see you. 
Aliena's gaze could be as stern as her father's had been. But her heart and wit made her a leader people did not follow out of fear, but out of respect and loyalty. Jonathan told us you had a visitor. Just an old friend. What do you think of this window? Jonathan came to look more and more like his father, Tom. As prior of Kingsbridge, he is also a builder of sorts. I use mostly warm colors. What good are the large windows if it feels cold? Sally is as stubborn <clears throat> and as gifted as her parents. It is her stained glass windows the light is falling through. She has children of her own now. And I'd like to show you the plans for the new cloister. Tommy will be the next master builder and is as silent as his grandfather was. Once I heard him admonish his father to be more serious at work. Jack only smiled. He knew Tommy was right. Martha stayed in Kingsbridge as well. She was always there for every one of us. Is the judge done now? I don't know. Why don't you ask him yourself? Is the judge done now? <laughs> it will never be done. Not in my lifetime. Not in yours. Remember us for what we did. For who we were. And maybe for what we tried to be. And when you turn your eyes to our cathedral, maybe you will see yourself. Makes me want to read the book now. I do have to watch the miniseries too. 21 epilogue. You did not answer Waylaren's question about God. You have finished playing. Pillars of the Earth. We're done. I was not expecting <laughs> to be able to finish this today. Of course, there wasn't a lot of... There wasn't a lot of uh, walking around today looking for stuff. Um, we did a lot of that. I think you lost. Uh oh. You mean you mean power to your your house? But. And I will admit, the first couple of days, you know, we 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 mentioned. I think even Miss B was probably the first person to mention. You know, is, this kind of game is definitely a slow burn, especially compared to some of the stuff that I normally played. And. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I could feel it physically feel it. Um, but after that, after the first couple of days, I mean, this is what stream number six, I think it is part six, but it started to pick up and all the stuff that happened tonight and, and all of that, man, this was really, really good guys. Really good. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <coughs> you mean, have you read the book? Is that what you're talking about? Because, yeah, they didn't even address any of that, right? They didn't address that other than the conspiracy and the fact that the war was over. Um, But, yeah, really good. Um, As I mentioned before, for those of you that weren't here when I mentioned it back when we first started playing it, this was a birthday gift to me from uh, Purple Bacon. So now I have to go thank her. Oh, you did? Okay. Gotcha. I understand. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll have to, I haven't talked to her today at all. Um, so I'll have to uh, send her a Discord message to tell her thank you for that. She's been really good. 
her choices have been really good for the gifts that she's given me. But yeah, if I had to give this one a score is what we typically do. You know, it's it's easily eight, eight and a half. Um, there were a little bit of frustrations with some of the stuff with knowing what you were supposed to do in certain situations. And that's, that can be a problem with these kinds of games too. I mean, some of the telltale stuff suffers from the same problem from time to time. But I mean, the visual style is good. Um, I think several people mentioned that they like the art style. Um, Trombones was in here one night and he mentioned that he liked it too. Um, the story was really good. Character, um, the voice acting was really good too. <laughs> yeah. See now, I, I, how many pages is, how big is the book? It kind of makes you wonder how much they weren't able to put into the game. So yeah, that I have a Kindle, so I'll uh, I'll see if I can get the um, get the or the digital version for my uh, Kindle my Kindle White. But yeah, really, really good. So now I have a bit of a problem, though. <laughs> I was not expecting to have to pick something to play next until Tuesday. Because I figured I didn't think we were going to get it done tonight with as long as it had taken us to do some of the other chapters. So now I got to find something. It, it, I don't know what it is yet that I'm going to be playing next story-wise. So that still may not be until Tuesday. So tomorrow may just be, it may just be a, a you know, a one-off night of some kind, you know, maybe we, maybe we do some fall guys and you know anybody that's welcome you know that wants to play would be welcome to play that kind of thing have a community a community morning slash afternoon a community brunch oh and also um i mentioned this in my discord as well uh, in my subscribers channel twitch made some updates to the founders badges they now allow they now allow the streamer to manage that list of the first 10 subscribers. Technically, that's what the list is. Anytime you go into a channel and you see that first badge on somebody, <clears throat> they were one of the first 10 people to ever subscribe to that streamer, but they've given streamers the power to, it's limited management. You can't, you can't just give somebody the founder's badge. It still goes by the date. Um, so it's going to, what you can do is you can look through the list. It'll show you who the 10 current founders are, but each name in the list has a trash can next to it. And you know, for whatever reason, either you haven't seen that they're no longer a subscriber and you haven't seen that person in several years, you know, you can remove them from that list. Um, and then what it will do is it will essentially bubble up the next person that would have been on the list. It will bump the list up to fill in, um, to fill in that empty slot. And I did that for like four. Uh, I did that to four people. Some of them I didn't even recognize the names. Been that long. Yeah, Baldahar got moved up. Um, I forget who else. Who else got moved up into the list now? Oh, um, Adonis. Adonis got moved up into the top ten, and Nordic Road got moved up into the top ten. So the next time you see those guys. In here, you'll see that they have the badge too. And yep, Baldahar was, I think Baldahar was the first person that got moved up. So, but yes, thank you. Thank you all for, for all of that. You're, you're, whether you're a subscriber or not, just being here is very, very, very much appreciated. Playing chat games with me 
testing my stuff. And as I mentioned earlier as well, for those of you that weren't here, I've started working on a new game. I'm not going to say what it is yet. I won't do that until it's done. But, um, but yeah, I started working on that last night, actually. Yeah, we're almost through the credits here. And I get to go watch maybe, maybe an inning of the Braves game. But they're up five to two in the bottom of the eighth. And the music. The music was really, really good in this, too. Ah! <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> we were talking about Brother Philip earlier when he got burned. I had to hold it back being completely honest I had to I had to hold back choking up uh what inning are they in of course you know if, if it's after the fifth inning it could get could get called and they could steal a win out of that <coughs> Thank you for playing. There we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, I saw that uh I'm you already know this. I'm sorry, Vex, I don't need to tell you this. I saw that the Yankees, speaking of the Yankees, um, they got uh Ben Attendee from they got Ben Attendee from the Royals for what, three? Three? Was it three prospects, I think? So, yeah. All right, so we're done. We're done 20 minutes early. You get 20 minutes of your lives back. Like I said earlier, I'll have to find something for tomorrow. It's a quick, it's a quick turnaround because obviously we're going to be streaming again in a li literally just over 12 hours from now. Yeah, three pitching prospects. Yeah, that's that's what it was. I didn't hear the names, so I don't know who they would be. I probably wouldn't know them anyway, since it's not um, it's not the Braves. Obviously, a little bit more familiar with the Braves prospects than any anybody else's. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for the day. Let me do the let me do the normal Miss B things. And she is playing D and D with her son. You can go to that link there. You can go to that link there and get all my gaming and social media stuff. You're welcome to any and all of that. Um, let's see. All right. We've only got two people on tonight. It's uh, Wanderlust and Big Kahuna. And since we just raided Wanderlust on Tuesday, we'll do, um, we'll do Big Kahuna tonight. And I'll just do it manually. Uh... The B.I.G. <laughs> okay. All right. The raid is kicking off. Yeah, we've raided Kahuna lots of times. You guys know Kahuna, good dude. Super super cool guy, a uh, good streamer as well. He is playing Outriders. That was, I mentioned earlier, I had an, you know, one possibility for what might be next. It would be Outriders. They recently came out with their World Slayer expansion, which does have a story. Um, so if I can get, you know, Cisco and or Reaper and or Adonis to uh, hop on you might do some co-op 
tomorrow for that. Of course, that would probably be a little bit early for them, especially Cisco, since he's in California. That would be 7 a.m. for him. <laughs> probably not going to work. So, yeah, we're going to raid uh, Kahuna. If you want to come over and say hello, copy everything after the colon and paste it into his channel when we get over there. I do have to warn you, though, standard, standard thing with him. Um, some of his alerts and announcements and stuff do have adult language in them. So for those of you that may not be aware, if you're uncomfortable with that kind of stuff, you may not want to join us, but I hope you do because I would appreciate, I would appreciate it. So let me shut up before it kicks me out. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10. Here is Big Kahuna. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Have a good night.